Hi, just want to say hi to the uh, Noida International Film Festival. My name is Russ Emanuel. I'm the director of The Assassin's Apprentice 2. Uh, how did I come up with the idea for the film? It was actually uh, the mastermind of uh, Paul Hickman, the uh, writer and the executive producer. And he came up with the first film and he also came up with the second film. And it's a slate of trilogy. So uh, we want to do a third one. Um, and a drive. Well, I love making films, I love telling stories, and I love action films, and this fits all three of that. So for me, it was a no-brainer, and I was just very grateful to be hired uh, by Paul to direct the first and the second film. Uh, the roadblocks, well, we did crowdfunding, and crowdfunding is very difficult. And for anybody who's done crowdfunding, like Indiegogo or Kickstarter, it's it's a process, so, you know, it took a lot of, um, well, we filmed the video, the introduction video, uh, like I'm doing right now, and then we, you know, uh, put it together, we uh, contacted all of our people that we know, and we happened to know a lot of uh, Star Trek people. Uh, we worked with Star Trek actors, I directed Star Trek actors, uh, like Robert Picardo, very grateful for that. Um, Maureen Assertis, Armin Shimmerman, Gary Graham, Sean Kenny, Tracy Coco. So, you know, uh, luckily and very thankfully, um, we were able to get uh, the money to do the first and the second films. And these films are 15 and uh, 26 minutes uh, long, the first and the second film. So, um, human and financial resources, well, you know, um, it's just uh, you have a lot of cast and crew and, um, you know, you treat everybody like family. And I always say Team Assassin's Apprentice, one, two, and, you know, I believe that. I will always believe that. Uh, challenges, well, uh, for this film, we filmed in the Canary Islands and we filmed over nine months and we had to match continuity. So, you know, the challenge was to make sure that the continuity was there over those nine months, including, you know, the hairstyles of the actors, uh, the consistency, consistency with the props, the sets, et cetera, et cetera. We had the Canary Islands look uh, and we had to match it with uh, what we shot in Los Angeles. And luckily the Canary Islands in Los Angeles, they both have palm trees and slightly desert landscape. So we were able to knock on wood, match that continuity. Um, how different were um, what I originally envisioned the film being like and how it turned out well? You know, you have to, you have the script uh, and you may have, let's say, you know, for example, three locations, but you're only able to get two uh, in those one location, it's a house. And instead of five rooms, you have four. So you have to kind of, you know, go with the flow and uh, bend the film's reality, if you will, uh, based on, you know, what you have to film, uh, you know, uh, how many shoot days you have. And yeah, so you just have to make it work. <laughs> um, about the target audience, um, well, it's a lot of Star Trek and science fiction and action. Uh, people, you know, people who like those genres is our target audience. And distribution and promotion plans. Well, again, we want to do a third film um, and we use a lot of social media. For instance, thank you for the festival for accepting the film. Uh, that helps to spread the word. Um, and, you know, hopefully people like what they see. You know, if they see the film at a festival, uh, if they see that it has accolades, um, you know, wins trophies, etc., etc. So, yeah. Uh, why should the audience watch this film? Um, to be entertained. You know, I just hope people are entertained by this film. Um, and any message I want to give emerging filmmakers? Just make your films, you know? I've been doing this for 20 some years and um, well, each film is its own challenge and hopefully you re reap your uh, rewards, you know, based on those challenges. Um, so my social media links, um, it's russem.com, Russ and Productions. And um, there you can see links to all my films, uh, including the films back here like Occupants um, and other films I've done. And uh, best wishes against, again to the 11th uh, Annual Noida uh, International Film Festival. 
Um, thank you again for having us and thank you everybody for listening to this. Thank you.